Hey guys, and welcome to the final Road to the Playoffs video. Uh, today we're doing the Wrecking Crew. We have the owner, Aaron Deister, with us today. Aaron, how you doing? Pretty good. How are you guys? Pretty good. So uh, we're going to go over their schedule just like usual. Uh, but first, we're actually going to ask him a couple questions because we still don't know anything about him. So, yeah. Well, I want to know, along with everyone else, just I want a basic breakdown of your four-man roster you got. Just... Tell me, walk me through the roles of kind of each, what each player is going to be doing for you guys. All right, for sure. Yeah, so we're going to start out with uh, Michael uh, McElroy. Uh, at first, we kind of had him in the field, but then we did a few practices, and he, uh, he's going to pitch for us pretty confident with his pitch, and he's going he's gonna to throw it. He throws it hard and throws it accurate. Um, and I think the, uh, the expanded strike zone really helped us out, too. Um, I was a little worried about it there at first, but... Seeing him pitch on the, we we actually made an expanded strike zone. We've been throwing on it, and uh, I'm pretty pretty confident he can throw it hard and throw it accurate. So uh, I think we're looking good there. Um, and then we're gonna throw uh, Jaden Janser out in the field, um, pretty quick, good with his hands. So I think he'll be good out there. And then um, he's gonna hit for us as well. Michael's gonna pinch hit for us. Um, and then we got Guthrie, uh, who. Uh, Who's probably he's he's the only one that actually played baseball through high school, and so he's gonna he's gonna hit for us, and then I'm gonna hit for us. So uh, feeling pretty pretty confident. Okay, which of your four players do you think has the best potential to be like an all star? Um, you know, I mean, I think that's what's good about our team. We have so many uh, so many people that could be all stars in different ways. I think Michael's pitching is really gonna. I think he's gonna be up there with. Um, I've obviously not seen any of the pitching in person, so I don't have a whole lot to judge off of. But I think he's going to be up there with some of the top pitchers. Um, so I think he could be an all-star in that regard. Um, and then as far as hitting, I mean, any of us could hit pretty well. Okay, so so we want to know, does this pitcher have anything other than a fastball? Does he throw like a curve or any you know special stuff like that? Or does he just throw it really hard? Um, yeah, so I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to give away the pitches because I think we. Uh, one of our advantages are definitely uh, smart. That, uh, yeah, but he definitely does have some movement that you can use too, and I've seen it in on the bigger strike zone. He was hitting the chair pretty consistently in the bigger strike zone. Um, definitely plays for advantage there as well. So I'm not going to say the pitches that he's got, but he's got some movement as well. And then we've got backup pitchers that actually specialize in movement. So if we need to throw them in there. Well thought out. All right, let's get to the schedule. We know the teams that you guys are playing mm -hmm. are a little bit worried about playing you guys just because they don't know anything. They know you're all kind of former athlete type of guys and, you know, like around 21. I mean, that usually means they're going to be pretty decent. Right. The teams are worried. Uh, but this is the Wrecking Crew uh, Road to the Playoffs video here. So we're going to talk about what you guys think of the other teams. Okay. So your first game is Lynx, right? Yes. Lynx, wow. What a way to uh, <laughs> make your debut into yeah. JL playing against the Lynx, a team that before the last JL had been to three straight championships and won one of them. And one of the premier franchises, one of the best players in Jordan Howerson. What are you thinking going into this game? You know, I'm I'm really happy with the draw that we got. I'm excited that we're playing the Lynx first. Um, I think that's I think that's a great way to kick it off. I'd I'd rather play the best team first. You know, um, no better way to warm up than against a good pitcher, a pitcher that's going to throw it hard, throw it accurate. There's going to be balls to hit, and that's going to get our hitting warmed up for the for the next two teams. Okay. So are we? We're still doing our predictions. Yeah, we'll still do. Okay, so I'm gonna say I think that this is gonna be a loss for the Recky Crew. Um, before we get going, though, this what we just heard on this video is literally all that we've heard about this team. So that's yeah. kind of what we're doing this with. But I still think it's gonna be a loss. Um, and but it'll probably be close. Yeah, I'd have to go with the Lynx. I think uh, I actually think the Recky Crew can give them a scare though. Like we've said a lot of times before, the Lynx don't put up a lot of yeah. offensive runs. So I think, you know, they could keep it close in that regard. But also I think they're just going to catch the Lynx maybe off balance a little bit. 
they don't know what to expect. I mean, yeah, they have kind of that on their side, I guess. But I think, I mean, I'm not going to pick against the Lynx. Yeah, I would know. So, okay. Yeah. Game two is the Fog. Um, Aaron, what do you know about this team, and do they scare you at all? What What's going on? Uh, so they're probably the team out of the three that we play that I know uh, know the least about. I know Lucas Myers. I've heard some things about him that he's a pretty good player. Um, I know they're missing one of their one of their fielders. I heard um, he's not going to be there. Um, but I'm not. I don't want to say I'm not worried about the fog. But coming off playing the Lynx, um, I think that's going to be the game where we get the where we get used to the tournament, get used to the rules, really play out of all, all of our kinks. I think with the people that we have, we're going to be, it's going to take half a game to get warmed up, and then we'll be ready to play. So um, the fog, I think we I think we can win that one, and that's one that we're going to have to win to get into the playoffs. So That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. How much do you know about the antics of the fog? <laughs> I don't know a whole lot, but um, I... Uh, I watched their video and I heard they like to talk um, <laughs> a little bit, and I think I think we have uh, at least three talkers on our team that we're going to be able to play those antics just as well, if not better. Um, your first jail, we're all very <laughs> Okay, what's your prediction? Yeah, yeah. My prediction. Ah, so, oh, man. If if I could see the the Wreck and Crew Lynx yeah. game first, this I'd be able to predict so much better, probably, but. Gosh, I, I probably the fog. I think Myers and Williamson are gonna bring a lot of talent to the table. I think uh I think uh both teams that's a must win for both teams. Yeah. And I just kinda like the Lynx, I'm not ever gonna pick against Lucas. I know Lucas personally, I know how competitive yeah. he gets with this kind of stuff and I just can't go against him. But I think actually after I see the Wrecking Crew and the talent with the four guys they have, I think it'll be pretty evenly matched. I think the Fog maybe will have one or two guys that's like really, really good, and either Lucas or Parker. But the Wrecking Crew collectively might, you know, be better. Yeah. I mean, based on what Aaron has said, I wouldn't be surprised if, if they play both of these games very closely, even win one or maybe two. But based on what we've seen, which is nothing, um, I'm going to take the fog as well. Same reason, Lucas and Parker. I think Parker's going to be a pretty good pitcher, or Lucas even pitches. But I also think they can hit good pitching as well. I think they'll be able to do that. So I'm going to take the fog in a close game. Okay. Last game is the Storm. Storm. And this will be the two new franchises playing against each yes. other. You know, last game for both teams. Maybe it'll... They're in two different conferences, but maybe it'll be like a winner gets to go to the playoffs in their respective conference and loser doesn't. So yeah. could have some meaning there. Um, you know, some bragging power of which, you know, new franchise make press or I'm on. But I don't know. It's still, there's so many things that could happen between yeah. now and then. But to me, these teams are really similar. Um, I think Kyle, or yeah, Cal King and Tyler Hudson, the tuning players. About the same age, maybe a little older than what the Wrecking Crew guys are, but I think they're going to be kind of on the same par athletes-wise and yeah. skill-wise. Um, I don't think Kyle Koopman is on that level. He's on another player on the Storm, so that might bring the Storm down a little bit. I'm going to go with the Wrecking Crew in this game. I think by the th by the last game of their season, they'll be you know they'll have all the stuff down. They'll be they'll feel comfortable. And who knows, they, it might be a game where they have to win to get in. And I, I'm just going to pick the record crew. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I was actually going to take the Storm in this one because of who they picked up lately. But in thinking about it, and in what I've heard, I haven't seen either team's pitching, but in what I've heard, the wrecking crew's pitching sounds better. And um, I just think there's more of them that are sounds like at that level. Um and I think they're going to be pretty competitive, so I'm going to take the ranking crew in another close game. I think all three of their games are going to be pretty close. Now, we are moving into the playoffs now. Aaron, is playoffs a goal for you guys, and do you think it's realistic that you can make a playoffs in your franchise debut? 
Right, yeah. So as a franchise, obviously the goal is we're going to go and uh, we're shooting for a championship. My goal is to uh, – we have three years on our rookie contracts. Is that correct? And then two. Two, okay. Two. By the end of the third year, um, we will have a championship. Um, Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's there. Um, so uh, this year, definitely playoffs is the, is the goal to strive for. Um, I think that first game is really going to be a disadvantage just because we don't know – we're not in the, we don't know the rules yet. So that's going to be a big adjustment. Um, so starting out, um, I think playoffs are definitely a, a realistic goal to have, though, and something that we're going to strive for. I think we can give all three teams a good fight, and definitely the last two, um, I'm going to say we should win those games um, just based off of the practices that we've seen. Um, I'm pretty confident about the team that we've got and uh, plan on moving forward with them. All right, so we're saying if you guys made the playoffs, that'd be, like, really good. And if you missed the playoffs, in our mind, it wouldn't be, like, a complete disappointment. But for you guys, if you missed the playoffs, would you guys be pretty disappointed? Yeah, I think I think our, I think we have every intention of making the playoffs, and we think we're going to be in the playoffs. And then I think uh, whoever we do play in the playoffs there, I think we're going to give them a good fight. And we're, yeah. Okay. Now, I have, maybe you have another question after this, but I have one, just one last question I want to have addressed here. You guys don't play the best team in the league, the Express. You made the playoffs. I mean, you'd have to go through them to keep your season going. That's right. just cool. What do you think about that team? And I know you probably don't know a lot about them or anything, but just do you think you could hang with them? Yeah, so what I do know about them, I know they're well-rounded. I've seen the video of Kyle pitching. I'm sure everybody in the league's seen that video um, a few times. I um, the league has seen that video in person, and half of the league has batted <laughs> against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, not being in the league yet, I haven't seen him in person. I've seen, I've seen that pitch. Um, it looks oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I know that I know they can hit, too. So they lunge. Um I, I I think the league's gonna really underestimate our our pitching. He can uh, our pitcher can throw hard. I, I I've seen Kyle's video. I haven't seen him in person, so it's hard to say. But I've tried to hit Michael, and I uh, it's it's a challenge. It's it's not gonna be easy. But I know they can hit, so I'm not I'm not leaving that out. But I think we can put up a fight at least. All right, ah. you got me. I will say that? this. I don't have them making the playoffs, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do. No, I won't be surprised. And I think that they could be very dangerous in the playoffs. However, in their first tournament, if they match up against the Express, I don't think they would win that game. Yeah. I just hope they don't get discouraged if they, you know, don't make it as deep as maybe they're hoping. But well, because like, they're in a tough conference, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they got, they got two of the best three teams. Especially if they turn out to be as... Because we're kind of pinning them at the bottom of this conference right now. If they turn out to be like a Bambinos, then all of a sudden that conference has literally does not have a bad team in it. Yeah. So that's just... Yeah. That, that's tough about being in that conference. But anyway, thanks for taking the time to do this video with us, Aaron. We're glad to have learned a little more about your yeah. team. I'm sure everyone else who's going to watch this was as well. Uh, you guys are going to be looking good in those bright orange jerseys. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks for having me, guys. Looking forward to it. All right. You're on Saturday. Good luck. All right. Thanks. All right. That's it for, oh, that, that's it for our uh, <laughs> video. And that's it for these Road to the Playoff videos. Finally. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. Um, yeah. So you can see other stuff uh, coming out soon, I guess. And we'll see you next time.